to the convenience store, got some breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast. Who shall be breakfast? Protein milk, smoothie, juice, soy. Banana shake? What is butter coffee? Ooh, that looks good. Not really a fan of strawberry though. This is hard. You know, I just need to eat my green smoothies. But I have a feeling that was gonna taste like poop. How about this one? How much sugar is in this? Oh, life is so hard. So yeah, welcome to the continued I don't even know what episode it is welcome to apartment hunting episode three part two so yes I'm still looking for an apartment sorry if it's loud guys I'm on the train we're on our way to Mizunokuchi we're gonna meet up with a realtor and he's gonna drive us to the location Ash is struggling with having nappy hair then I had to deal with this long hair look just trying to put in a ponytail it's a little bit loud on here so I'm gonna fill you guys in once we get there on like the stuff that I'm looking for but if you've seen episode one or two I am basically still looking for the same thing <laughs> one or two you'll kind of know what's going on I'm gonna link those down below just in case you guys are interested basically I have been looking for an apartment for some time now I'm looking for one with three rooms one of the rooms needs to have tatami mats it needs to be bright because my place is so dark right now and lastly it needs to be like slightly in the countryside I don't like being around a lot of people like I hate being in the city like even this would drive me nuts I need to put a mask on see how noisy it is like I could never live in this city that would drive me nuts there's like always someone around like and I don't know why but in Japan a lot of old people don't wear their masks and they're the ones why you do that the real estate agent is a girl and for some reason that made me very happy like i'm not sexist but i just prefer working with women the first place is actually a house we are seeing two places i thought it was already taken but apparently the people canceled so i can still see the other one the one that we're gonna see right now is actually a two-story house about a 10 minute walk from the station we got an orange vending machine we're off to a good start Door. There's actually a lot of light. Is that a sheep closet? Right when you enter is the kitchen. Okay, I love this window ledge. It's a lot of space. Very rare. This one actually has like a little garden space. That's different. Bathrooms downstairs. Toilet. Oh, it's a new toilet. Yes. Ooh. And there is a window in the bathroom. Oh, there's one in both. Stainless steel is probably easier to clean. closet too. That's good. Bedroom. 
That's really big. This is a lot of space. And it has a laundry pole, which I don't have right now. Oh my god, there's this little thing that kind of keeps it private. Closest house is way up there. Not very close. That's good. Oh, there's another one. Okay. <laughs> Love white floors. Oh my god, it's a real closet. A real closet. Oh my gosh. I'm standing in the closet. The fixings are bright. This is so much space. Oh my gosh. put a, a kitchen island. Oh, it's a really big sink. This is bigger than mine. And the kitchen has a outside? Okay. Ah, it's like a secret little compartment. Interesting. Bathroom. Oh, that's great. A whole space for the washer. Toilet. Vanity. Bathroom. Oh, that tub looks newer. Last room to Tommy, thank goodness. Another closet. Japanese closet. And another outside. So this is the same spot, but down. Front door. There's a door to the door. Oh, storage. This one is definitely bigger, but it's not as bright. Um, like the walls and the floor and everything are bright, but the actual light coming in is not very bright. Like I think only this room is bright. Right when you walk in, there's a door leading to the rest of the house, but before you get into the rest of the apartment, there's just one room here. I think that's kind of cool. Like if you wanted your office to be just completely separated. Brown floors, but a lot more light and the view is a lot better. Another bamboo forest. Yeah, this is so much more bright. That's not a word. This is so much brighter. Second room. Oh, it's the tummy over here. There's a door and a window. This is a lot more light. The tummy room also has a view. Okay, so if you want to open the closet, you have to close the door. It's a lot of space. Same layout? Yes. Oh, okay. Just a little different with the colors. And these two are different. Yeah. That would make the island difficult. And this one's also, okay, so two to Tommy. But it looks like this one has, huh. But second floor, oh that's better because there's nobody this way now. If I open this, it's fine. Nobody's there. Japanese closet. Okay, so this one doesn't have an American closet so far. Okay, so 
same layout, different tub. There's a little mirror down here. Okay. So these, these two are brighter than the view. And it's extra to Tommy. I prefer to Tommy. Okay, so we are finally finished. We ended up seeing three places and I only expected to see one, so that was pretty cool. In conclusion, In conclusion, the first place was a house, which I really liked. I love the inside and I loved how bright it was. That place had so many windows, which is very rare. Like usually Japanese windows look like, like that. They're always really tiny. This one had huge windows. It also had like a little outdoor space where I can like do a little bit of gardening and stuff. The thing that I did not like was the kitchen was very small. The washing machine was like next to the sink in the kitchen. Yeah, that's really weird. Which is super weird. I actually didn't really notice that. The washing machines in the kitchen. And finally, the last thing I don't like is I don't like the neighborhood. The houses, if you saw, are right next to each other. Like, we might as well be living together. That's not another house, that's just another room. The neighborhood wasn't that great for walking around, like there wasn't any nature, so there's that. The second, the second place. place. The second place was very nicely renovated. Like, everything was kind of new, the colors were great, the floors were white, the tatami was nice and new. The problem is, it was so dark in there, and that is the problem I have now, which is the reason why I'm trying to move. Second place, the white floors were dope. That created a bit more light, but it wasn't enough. No, not enough natural light. Not enough natural light, so the wrong side of the building, right? The view wasn't that great either. There was no good view, there was nothing to look at or it was just a little bit depressing on that side of the building and lastly the third place in the same building as the second place that one okay it was it was raggedy Raggedy. Raggedy. But the view was so bomb. It had such a good view and it had way better light because it was facing a different direction. But like the kitchen was a nightmare. It looked like a box of crayons threw up in there. It was so many colors. Third place uh, was on the right side of the building. Yeah. So if you could take the other rooms and put them in that side, it would be great. But the kitchen was awful. Uh, the size was great, but the like front of the cupboards and the, the vent yeah. was like black and did not match anything yeah, in the, the kitchen. Yeah, the colors were awful. Apart from that, it was pretty much the same as the second place. If I could take the windows and the light from the first place, the flooring and the walls from the second place, and the view from the third place, we would have ourselves a winner. I just sound really picky right now. I swear I'm not picky, but if I'm gonna move, I'm putting all the information everywhere so you guys can see the sizes, how much it costs, all that stuff. So basically both of those places were about $4,000 to move into, like in total, the deposit, the cleaning fee, the rent, all that stuff. That ain't cheap. Also, if I'm gonna be stuck there, it needs to be great. So yeah, I got a few more places to see. I don't think I'm ready to just decide, but if I had to pick through those three, I would pick the first one, even though the neighborhood sucked. If you had to pick out of the three, which one would you pick? Three. The third, the raggedy one? The view was better, and you could probably fix that kitchen up a little bit. A little bit. Probably something you can do. It's not nice though. Jesus, Jesus take, take the kitchen. All right, that is it for this video, guys. If you want me to take you along on the other journeys, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up so I know. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.